You see all of this jam? Well, there's a very interesting story behind them. 21 years ago, psychologists Sheena Iyengar and Mark Lepper from Columbia and Stanford University, they published a study about jams. On a regular day, at a local food market, people would find a display table with 24 different kinds of jam. Then, on another day, at the same food market, people were given only 6 different types of jam choices. Guess which display table led to more sales? Yes, it was the one with fewer options. According to their research, while the big display table with 24 jams generated more interest, people were far less likely to purchase a jar than in the case of the smaller display. Now, if you're wondering the reason behind this outcome, well, it's quite simple. It's the paradox of choice. American psychologist Barry Schwartz, he explained this puzzle in his book, Paradox of Choice, Why More is Less. He also talks about this in his TED talk. I do recommend you watch it. I'm gonna link it in the video description. He states that having too many choices with its overwhelming choice overload might give us anxiety, stress, and depression instead of happiness and freedom. This happens because having too many choices makes us feel that we may be missing out on something. You start questioning yourself, did I make the right choice? Eventually, all of this lead to a very negative outcome, which is the choice paralysis, in which we end up making no choice at all because we get paralyzed by the variety of options and can't even make a decision. Personally, I was really intrigued by the JAM study, so I decided to conduct it on my own, but on a much smaller scale. So, I sent a survey to 20 random people and asked them, if you had the choice, from which table would you rather buy a jar of jam? Table 1 with lots of options, or table 2 with fewer options? 70% of the testers, they actually chose the table with less options. And I want you to look at their answers. More straightforward. Too many choices on the other one. I'm not overwhelmed by the amount of the variety, 6 types is enough. Now this is my favorite one, we all love lots of choices and options, however, it's easier to actually decide when there are fewer choices. Now I promise you this person did not get paid to write this, so basically 21 years later, that jam study still makes sense. Now it's not just about the jar of jams, we go to supermarkets that has 18 types of chips and beverages. We spend hours on Netflix trying to choose a movie or a series to watch. We go to closing stores with hundreds of options. We go to restaurants where we spend a long time trying to figure out what to order. And the list goes on and on and on. So how can we address that? How can we make sure that we don't get overwhelmed when we're making a decision? As a consumer, you need to use a prioritization system when you're making a choice. So let's say for example you have 50 options. You need to narrow them down to 4 or 5 options max. This way, it will be easier for you to make a decision. You can prioritize using different elements like your budget, the quality of the product or service you're trying to buy, convenience, social proof, listing pros and cons, and the list goes on. It really depends on the choice you're trying to make, so you would need to find your own rhythm to make sure you note down the options in front of you. Now, if we look at the other side of the spectrum, as a business, you also need to be careful not to overwhelm your prospect and potential customers. That's why Mr. Schwartz, he discovered a so-called sweet spot. This is the point where the number of choices is most effective on our subjective well-being. This is the point where we offer not too little, but at the same time, not too much. So, if you offer different products, make sure to create filters that are easy to use also minimize distractions. A website with an overload of menus and buttons will lead to more psychological distress and confusion. The paradox of choice is a really interesting topic and deserves a longer video, but if I want to summarize it in three words, well, less is more.